Hey folks, I am just a dude and welcome to the I am just a dude video channels. Could be on YouTube, could be on Brighton, it could be on BitChute. If you'd be so kind, please subscribe to one or all of those video channels. If you're on YouTube, click that little bell notification so every time I make an upload, you'll get to see it first. And if you're on BitChute and you'd like to support this channel, click that little dollar sign next to the subscribe button. All right, folks, without any further ado, this one is going to be probably a little bit controversial. I'm sure I'm probably going to get some hate comments, but the truth for me is the word of God, Jesus Christ, and here we go. This article comes from thechristianpost.com. It is by Matt Staver. Matt Staver responds to Franklin Graham. Chick-fil-A is now funding pro-LGBT group. Now, Matt is actually replying to a little column or blog that Franklin Graham put out probably yesterday, the day before. And he said he talked to Dan Cathy, the CEO of Chick-fil-A. And he said that Dan Cathy told him that they will not be compromising their Christian values. We are just shifting the way we donate things now. And nothing has changed internally as far as the company is concerned. Matt has taken issue with that. And after reading this article, I totally understand where Matt is coming from. The article starts... Franklin, you have done a huge disservice by not doing more investigation into Chick-fil-A's betrayal and capitulation to the LGBT agenda. And after doing my research, I actually tend to agree with Matt. I'm not going to read the whole article here because I could go on forever with this. I'll be honest with you. I would encourage you to read it. But Tim Tasulapus don't even know if that's the way you say it, but he serves as an advisor to the Atlanta Boy Scouts. Now, we all know the Boy Scouts are now openly encouraging, openly accepting of any LGBTQ uh, members. So they used to be uh, driven more by Christian values, and they have changed. And now the chief operating officer, Tim, will just say, he is actually the one that made this happen, where now Chick-fil-A is either directly, they are directly, but maybe not intentionally, thinking that people are going to do the research, are kind of putting forth that they're indirectly supporting just homelessness for youth and food banks and whatnot, and that's not the case. Okay, continuing. In 2014, Chick-fil-A decided to stop funding the Paul Anderson Youth Home because it was accused of being anti-LGBTQ, we'll say now. But it still had funding commitments with the Salvation Army and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, both of which are falsely accused of being anti-LGBTQ because they have biblical policies on marriage and sex outside of marriage. So, <clears throat> the media... Certain radical organizations are calling the Salvation Army and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes anti-LGBTQ. And I would say they're pro-God. They're pro-Jesus Christ. They're pro-New Testament. They're pro the fundamental understandings of human beings and their living for the last 7,000 or so years, six or 7,000 years, according to the Bible, of what's correct in the eyes of God and what's not correct in the eyes of God. And because in the last couple of years, there's been a couple of radicals who have overtaken the media by storm and it's happened. So now instead of holding true to those values or allowing Christians and Christian companies to hold to those values, now instead of just, you know, they're doing their thing, we're doing our thing, now they're just anti-everything. We're anti-LGBTQ. And guess who else is under that framework? Chick-fil-A. Continuing. Now that the funding commitment has expired, Chick-fil-A says it will no longer fund the Salvation Army and FCA, even though the Salvation Army fits 
within the giving priorities of funding organizations that provide housing and food banks. And the FCA provides education. Instead, Tim states Chick-fil-A will now fund Covenant House International, which is much smaller than the Salvation Army in only 31 cities and an LGBTQ activist. It's very, very clear that they are. Very much so. So yes, Chick-fil-A has kowtowed, bent the knee to the LGBT community in the name of the mighty dollar. Because if you're not living by morals and principles and you're just focused on the business and the bottom line, which most companies do, they say that's the most important thing, you're living by the almighty dollar. So in my view, and through my research into this company and its derivatives, this is clearly an LGBTQ activist organization. They bring in homeless folks, homeless teenagers, homeless youth that claim to be gay or part of the LGBTQ community, which as a Christian, in principle by itself, I actually applaud them. Everyone, I don't care what sex you are, what color you are, what race you are, what gender you are, Everyone deserves help and assistance when needed. And if you're homeless, you need help. Where this gets tricky as a Christian, where this gets tricky claiming that the Covenant House is a Catholic foundation, where this gets tricky where Chick-fil-A claims to be based on fundamental principles of Christianity, where this gets tricky is this. You can help them. You support them. You love them. But loving them, supporting them, and giving them a helping hand when they need it does not mean you encourage sin. It does, it does not mean you give the okay to something that God clearly states is a sin, which is marriage outside of a man or woman and any kind of homosexual acts. That's the bottom line. Not because I say so, but because God says so. And quite honestly, society has lived this way with this understanding for thousands of years. Have there always been people who have been inclined to want to be homosexuals or transgenders or whatever the case may be? Of course, we're human beings. We're all sinners. We're all going to have different sort of inclinations, not just sexually, but just to do certain things here and there and everywhere. But God says, don't give in to those things. That's not the way I want you to live your life. You're not going to be blessed like I want you to be blessed if you decide to do things your way and not my way. It's the truth. It's the bottom line. If you're a Christian, those things cannot be denied. If you're not a Christian, you do not live with those rules if you choose not to. You are a free individual. God has given you the free will to do whatever it is you want. My problem is, is you have a company, Chick-fil-A. Logically, you should not be supporting LGBTQ things. And this gets better. Tim, speaking of funding Covenant House, states, this provides more focus and more clarity. At least he is correct. And this clarity reveals the betrayal. Yes, it does. The founder of Covenant House, a Catholic priest pedophile. Now, I want to say this very clearly. I looked at this and it says it right there. He shouldn't be saying pedophile because there was no charge of guilt. He left Covenant House before he could actually get to court. Was he? Who knows? Was it likely? Possibly. But there was never anything that came to fruition with a guilty charge. Continuing, was sued for allegedly sexually abusing the youth who were seeking shelter and food. Covenant House proudly promotes LGBTQ on its website, which it does, referring to LGBTQ inclusion initiatives and even doing an inclusion assessment at every one of its facilities. So you have to be assessed if you're a worker at one of these facilities that you can handle LGBTQ people. Continuing, Covenant House also proudly supports the New York City Gay Pride Parade with its own float, banners, t-shirts, and hashtag. Covenant House is recognized as a national funder of LGBTQ causes. 
Now, there's a lot of links in this article, folks, and guess what? I read every single one of those pages that there's links to. I would strongly encourage you, if you're a Christian and you're kind of like you're not sure about Chick-fil-A, go through the article, look at the links, read the links. All the information is there to back up what I'm saying and what Matt is saying. Oy, oy, oy. Um, and finishing up. Chick-fil-A dumps the Salvation Army because it wants to expand into new markets and now shuns organizations the LGBTQ activists falsely claim anti-LGBTQ and then turns 180 degrees to announce that it will now fund Covington House, a radical LGBTQ activist organization that celebrates homosexuality, transgenderism, and the entire LGBTQ agenda. Continuing. And Covenant House does not stop at LGBTQ activism. It also takes girls to abortion clinics. That's the one. That's another one that blew my mind. You got to think about this. If you're a Christian, folks, Chick-fil-A is actually funding this. Chick-fil-A donated $1.8 million last year to organizations like the Salvation Army that have stances on traditional marriage. This is, and, th and now they're promoting, they're basically funding abortions for girls. Covington House says they're a Catholic foundation and organization. Nothing could be farther from the truth. This is where Chick-fil-A money's going. When you're getting a Chick-fil-A chicken now or a meal, now your money's going to go towards this. How does that make you feel? I don't like it. I'm not going to Chick-fil-A anymore. I'm done. <sighs> Continuing. To save its own corporate skin, Chick-fil-A has thrown good biblical organizations under the bus and legitimized the false narrative of the LGBTQ activists. I attended a meeting yesterday in Washington, D.C. with national leaders, and although the meeting was not about Chick-fil-A, the leaders expressed outrage and betrayal over Chick-fil-A's betrayal. And they should. I wasn't too outraged about it. I didn't care too much about it until I found out where the money was going, and now that I know where the money's going... Now I'm pretty much made my mind up. I'm done with Chick-fil-A. I cannot openly, honestly support an organization that isn't just giving their money to a foundation that claims to be Catholic and Christian. That's fine. But this organization or this foundation of Covetant is openly giving their money to the New York City Gay Pride Parade. As a Christian who follows the words of Jesus Christ and the gospel, that's insulting. That's offensive. To help someone, to love someone, to care about someone does not mean you encourage everything that they do. Parents, generally speaking, love their children more than anybody else in the world. There are things that those children will do throughout their lives that the parents will not agree with. It doesn't matter how much they love their kids. They're not going to support them in something if they fundamentally disagree with them, whether it be ideology, morally, whatever the case may be, whatever happens in their lives, whatever differences they have. But even though they fundamentally disagree morally or ideology, it doesn't matter. They still love their kids. That's the principle of love. If you have a gay friend, you don't have to agree with his lifestyle. But you could love him as a person, as a human being. If he needs your help, you help him. That goes for Christians too. But if that friend comes to me and says, I'm gay, I'm going to say, well, I love you. You're my friend. If you need anything, I'll help you. I'll take care of you. But... I, you're not, don't ask me to say that I agree with your decision. I don't. I can't do that. You, you're going against your own principles. Your own fundamentals of living. Your basis for living is your Christian faith. But Chick-fil-A's betrayal of the Christian community will not satisfy the LGBTQ activists. These groups are calling for more, including employment benefits. Now, from what I read, they're basically saying Chick-fil-A needs to actually have more rules and regulations to comfort or to accommodate LGBTQ employees from fellow employees. In other words, they need protections, which I think is insane. 
You're talking about Chick-fil-A. You treat everybody the same. There should be no moral compass in a workplace as far as anything beyond of don't steal, don't rob, treat everybody with respect and be kind and considerate and thoughtful. When you don't do one of those things, I don't care if you're gay, straight, male, woman, black, white, Latino, whatever the case may be, you all get treated the same. This idea of actually perpetuating that because you're a certain group, you deserve more rights or less rights is insane to me. We all get the same rights. And if people aren't getting the same rights, then you fight to get those rights. You don't try to make it specific to hate crimes or LGBTQ or whatever the case may be. That's just insane to me. Finally, Chick-fil-A voluntarily surrendered to gain entrance into more liberal communities. In doing so, the company has caused incredible damage to the greater Christian community. I don't think they caused greater damage to the Christian community. I think they did a lot of damage to their business. That's what I think. We still got companies like Hobby Lobby that still stand firm for their Christian faith. Now, I want to read these two verses before I let you go, and then I want to show you something else real quick. Romans chapter 1, verses 26 through 27. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error. The due penalty is whatever God says it is. So God does not look fondly on LGBTQ activities at all. That's the sin of man, of men and women, right? But he's telling you, fight that. Don't encourage it. If you live your life like this, you're destroying yourself and your community. Don't do it. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. I'm reading out of the NIV. Or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men. So that, he says it right there, wrongdoers. In the Geneva Bible, unrighteous. In the King James Version, unrighteous. He's telling you, don't do this. And as a Christian company in Chick-fil-A, they're encouraging it because they're giving a lot of money to the Covenant House, which promotes not only LGBTQ foundations, but they encourage parades and they're actually encouraging abortions too. Here is the article on the uh, Covenant House taking girls to the abortion clinic, or a girl. This is an article from New Ways Ministry I found. Covington House finds its true colors in helping homeless LGBT youth, which is fine. This is where you have to have a problem if it's a Catholic Christian organization. Ryan, he's the, uh, the CEO or the president of, the, of Covenant House. Ryan said, those religious roots provide the agency with a mission of social justice. That always makes me nervous when you hear social justice because you know it's crazy. And helping the poor. Nothing wrong with that. This movement is about celebrating young people for exactly who they are, he said. Gay, lesbian, transgender, straight, for who they are. We don't use the narrative of tolerance. It is about connecting kids to their authentic selves. So basically, like I said, it's a Catholic organization supporting homosexuality, even though it's blatantly against everything that's in the Bible. I just read you two verses about it in the New Testament. And Chick-fil-A funds it all. This is where I actually, my eyes were opened. It's on dailywire.com 
And this was an interview done with Tim Tassapalupas. And he said, the chicken chain would forego donations to some Christian charities and give $9 million to organizations like Junior Achievement USA to support education. Covent House International to fight homelessness and community food banks for its hunger initiative in each city where the chain operates. The outlet reported, in addition, Chick-fil-A will donate $25,000 to local food banks wherever they open a new location. So this right here confirms to me, this is why Chick-fil-A is doing what they're doing where if you have the Salvation Army all across the country and you just give them a pot of $1.8 million, for example, they distribute that all across the country wherever they need it, right? Now, Tim is taking that money and supporting organizations to get the, the left off of their back or the LGBTQ communities off their back because now they're promoting Covenant House, right? An LGBTQ foundation that says it's Catholic but doesn't act on the principles of God or the New Testament. And he's giving them with the understanding it'll all, the, the money will only be given out in cities where the chain operates. The outlet reported, in addition, Chick-fil-A will donate $25,000 to a local food bank whenever they open a new location. So you know what that tells me? If they want to go to England again, for example, or say they want to open up in the heart of L.A. or something like that, guess what? Those people that would have normally allowed a lot of protests against Chick-fil-A for what they quote-unquote stand for, they're going to be a lot more reserved about doing that now, aren't they? Why? Because there's a lot of money at stake now. Now Chick-fil-A holds the purse strings in their hands and they don't give money unless they're already established in a city or an area or if they get the opportunity to be in a certain area or city. This is about controlling the money, folks. This is about if you want this kind of money, we get a chain here. If you want to get this continued support from us on a yearly basis, we stay here. You don't try to get rid of us out of the city. Honestly, it's kind of like a mafia money thing, isn't it? <laughs> we'll pay you off, but we want your protection. That's essentially what this has happened. Think about it. It's gone from a wide range spectrum of support down to narrowing it locally where they have more control how the money is distributed. And if you don't give me protection to have my business here and you don't keep the LGBT community off my back. If you see that I'm giving money to the LGBT community, guess what? I'm taking my business and my money that I give to your, your homeless shelters and your food banks to somebody else. This is a business trick, folks. That's what this is all about. It comes right down to it. It's all about money. Money, 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 money. This is a long video. It was 30 minutes long, I know, but this one, when I saw this, I said to myself, oh, I just figured it out. It's all about the money. All right, folks, this is a doozy. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Chick-fil-A is doing this just because of the money? Do you think that this is? they still believe that they're actually you know, donating to a Christian organization or a Catholic organization and staying true to their moral fiber? Are they following the word of God? Leave your comments below. Let me know. I want to know what you have to say on this. This is detrimental. This is serious stuff here, folks. Will you continue to support Chick-fil-A or are you quitting on them now because of what they've done? This is purely a, a money move and not a moral move, not a principled move. Not at all. Not at all. All right, folks, if you would be so kind, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Brighton channel, and my Bit Shoot channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Remember, if you're on YouTube, click that little bell notification so every time I make an upload, you'll get to see it first. And when you hit that drop-down button, on the bell notification, hit all to make sure you get all my latest notifications and video updates. If you're on Bit, shoot, <laughs> click that little dollar sign if you'd like to support the channel and everything I do here. It does take time and anything you can give would be greatly appreciated. Also, you can find me, you can keep in touch with me on Twitter, Gab, um, Mines, where else am I at? I'm on a lot of things. Check the links below in the description and you can find me everywhere and anywhere. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, what do I always say? I say this. 
love God, love your neighbor. And until next time, what do I always say? For real? I say God bless. Take care, guys. Until next time. Bye now.